We're going to convert a base 2 number to a base 10. First thing we need to do is get all the powers of 2. So we're going to start here on the right. That's 2 to the 0. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth. Now you could write tenth here for 10, but I'm just going to use a 0 to represent 10. You can write 10 underneath or 10 on top. So these are all powers of 2 here. So what we're going to do is we're going to write out the expanded version. So in this expanded version, we have, let's see, start at the right. So we have 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1st, 2 squared, 2 cubed, 4th, 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th. Okay. So 2 to the 0 is 1, 2 to the 1st is itself 2, 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4, 2 times 2 times 2, 2 cubed is 8. The other way to think about these, you're just doubling every time as you move over. So 8 times 2 is 16, double that to 32, 64, 128, 256. You can, if you're using a calculator, you just keep multiplying by 2 again and again and again. 5, 12, and 10, 24. Okay, so these are all the powers of 2. Now what I'm going to do is write how many of each of these we have. Because we're in binary, we either have 0 or 1 of them. So we'll start again on the right. So I'm just copying all these digits right into that space. So one one zero zero one one zero and then four ones. Okay. So from here we have this is one one, so you can write this as one times one and meaning plus now we have 1, 2, and 0, 4s, and 0, 8s. Do you have to write it if you have 0? No, you don't have to write it, but this just keeps the place so I don't forget because the number in parentheses is going to keep changing each time. This is the number in parentheses here. It's the power of 2. So I have 1, 16. I'm trying to write small so I can fit them below. It's going to get more difficult. 132. And 064s. 1, 128. 1, 256. 1, 5, 12, and 1, 10, 24. Okay, so add all these together. I really am bad at addition, so I'm just going to do these two at a time. 2 plus 1 is 3. I'll just add up adjacent ones. Uh, 32 plus 16. Luckily, this is just 1 times 32 right here, not like 7 times 32, so I'm really just adding those two numbers together. Ooh, that's 48. You can, of course, use a calculator here if this is tricky. Make sure you don't add the zeros. Zeros don't contribute anything, so that contributes nothing. These contribute nothing, so I'm just skipping right over them. 256 and 128. Oh, no. Uh, four. Trying to do this in my head. Four. Carry the one. Five, six, seven, eight. 384, I hope. 10, 24, and 5, 12. Add those. 2 and 4 is 6. 1 and 2 is 3. 5. There we go. All right. 48 and 3 is 50 something. 51. Oh no. 0. Carry the 1. 8 and 3 is 11. 12. Carry the 1. 
four and five is nine. Add those together. One, five and two is seven. One, nine, 1971, 1,971. Now I do have underneath here the answer. Uh, let's go ahead. 19, oh, all right, 1971. I was really worried about my addition. Not my process, but my addition. Uh, and the answer on my open math will give you, they're basically writing out this line right here. So if you get it wrong a few times, you can reveal the answer. And the answer you're going to see should, of course, if you get it wrong, it won't. But it should match this line on your homework here. Uh, they left it in powers of two, which is totally fine. That would have matched, let's see, this right here. Uh, but of course, you know, multiplying that in my head is not working. So I have this intermediate step where there's two to the eighth. Uh, I just wrote out a lot more work. All right, so I hope this helps you go from, uh, well, technically, really, this is any base into base 10, but this is base 2 to base 10.